puppy Linux into an internal hard drive. Um, as you know, most of my uh, videos are geared toward older uh, computers uh, using uh, puppy Linux. So uh, my uh, particular attention will be to uh, using a 32-bit uh, puppy Linux. Uh, I'll be demonstrating on a Zenial Pup here, which is a 32-bit uh, operating system. And to know whether you're using 32-bit or 64-bit, what you can do is uh, usually in uh, LS uh, CPU will tell. However, in uh, a puppy Linux, this command does not work. So what you have to do is you name M, uh, and then it'll give you uh, uh, I686. Uh, this means that this is a 32-bit uh, uh, machine. 64-bit uh, will uh, give you uh, uh, X64 at the end here, uh, telling you that it is a 64-bit machine. Uh, it's important to know that because uh, method that I will describe to you, uh, part one and part two, the 32-bit uh, machine uh, will work. But to be fair, there is a uh, separate uh, uh, installer in uh, Xenial Pub. There is a Puppy Universal installer and you can use USB flash drive to prepare a, uh, a bootable installation uh, USB stick which we'll, uh, we'll be using to uh, uh, install to an internal hard drive. However, I'm going to uh, present to you how to make a USB installer stick manually because I think the same method uh, we can use to further uh, install into the uh, uh, hard drive, but uh, today is uh, part one, which will be uh, to make a USB installer stick. So the first thing you have to do is to uh, go ahead and uh, prepare the USB stick. So in my case, this is my internal hard drive, uh, but this is the USB stick. So it's SDB1. So. Uh, we want to prepare that uh, for installation medium so we'll go ahead and get into gparted and this is sdb so we have to go to sdb stick this part is very important first thing you want to uh, do is you just, uh, just want to wipe everything out so to do that you go to device and create partition table and uh, you may get this type of warning. Partition is currently active. So within one of these two is currently active. So you need to discon disallow, uh, you make it a uh, inactive. So in this case, this, this is a, what's called a swap partition. We'll uh, turn it off. So we'll go ahead and turn it off. Now we'll be able to uh, create partition table. So there are several choices of partition table, but in 32-bit uh, bit older machine, uh, what you want is MS-DOS. Just in case you're looking at this, you know, uh, 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 for use in UEFI, you have to uh, prepare GPT uh, file file partition type table type, table type. But we're gonna go back to MS-DOS. So this is the one we want and we'll go ahead and apply. So you just wipe everything out. Now you have to prepare this USB stick which will be uh, we'll be using to as an installer. So what you have to do first uh, p small partition uh, we can just this is uh, what's called a master boot record and we'll just we can just make it about 300 uh, megabyte is plenty and then rest of it so we uh, will make it FAT32 and we'll just label this as boot. So we'll add a master boot record here. And then next is we can use it for puppy Linux operating system here. And what we may want to do is just uh, leave some for swap file. So 
Uh, usually, uh, I think the uh, 2 gig is more than enough. So we'll go ahead and this is the uh, uh <coughs> data and uh, operating system here and we'll make this a uh, a swap uh, swap partition so we we'll go into uh, uh, a linux swap so we'll go ahead and add now you have to go ahead and uh, uh apply all the operations so we'll go ahead and apply operations and we'll go ahead and apply now very important next step is to make sure that you have to take a, a boot a flag on a, uh, a first partition. So we'll go ahead and right click on here and go manage flags and put a tick on a boot. It'll ta take about a second just to get that all done. Now essentially it's uh, all ready uh, to have a uh, files put in. Now I realize you may not be uh, following the uh, video uh, using Xenial Pup, uh, Puppy Linux. So if you're using other uh, Linux uh, uh, system and following this video, a uh, next step is to uh, download the Xenial Pup uh, to your computer. So. Uh, what we'll uh, most more recent 32-bit uh, uh, Puppy Linux is Bionic Pup 32, but we'll actually be using a uh, Xenial Pup, although it's, it doesn't say 32. Uh, this is 64-bit, which is not what uh, what we want. So it, this is what we want. So you go to this uh, forum and then download the file ISO file, and I've already done that. So here is the uh, file, and uh, I downloaded. So we can go ahead and click once there, and let's go ahead and that extracts it so you can view what's in it. So we'll give it a minute. So well, we'll click it again. Now here's the file, list of the files in that ISO. Now uh, uh, we know that it has uh, the SD, uh, so don't worry about, uh, this change from SDC1, uh, SDB to SDC, uh, only because I pulled out the uh, USB stick and I stuck it back in and then it changed to SDC, but it is the same USB stick. So SDC1 is the uh, partition where we want to put the uh, grub. Uh, boot man uh, file so this is SDC2 is where we want to put all the uh, operating system files so what we need is we need SFS files from the uh, ISO so we'll go ahead and click on those three so SF uh, so files and then you need two more VM lens and then init RD so these files needs to be uh, needs to be moved there. So what we can do is just grab them all and then copy. So we're putting it into a USB uh, uh, stick now, par uh, second partition. So after that's done, what we need to do is run a grub uh, bootloader. So that's already that's done. So we don't need this. Uh, so we don't need that, and uh, we don't need that for now. And then we can go ahead and grab for DOS. For DOS, okay. So we can go ahead and what this does is it, uh, it's gonna we're gonna tell uh, uh, partition one to to find the uh, 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 puppy files on uh, partition 2 so you can go ahead and start loading it up start using the USB uh, installer so what we want to do is SDC is what we want because that's the USB stick and we want to only search within this device for operating system which is we only have one Xenial pub so let's go ahead and uh, give it OK and uh, it's found the Xenial pub. Uh, disregard Windows. Uh, so everything else can uh, remain the same. We're going to click OK. 
and then we're gonna say okay so installing and then we're gonna say okay and then let's just see uh, whether there's any files and so there is a file that's been inserted now it's uh, all ready to go ahead and uh, use the USB stick